Hello students welcome to my YouTube channel Medico Education Today we are going to learn about pneumonia in our last video lecture we have learnt about asthma so this is our second respiratory disorder pneumonia the objectives of this lecture are definition causes classification risk factors types clinical manifestations pathophysiology diagnostic evaluation complications medical management nursing management and health education it is an inflammation of lung parenchyma which is associated with marked increase in interstitial and alveolar fluid you can see there is alveolar fluid in the picture and alveoli is completely filled with the fluid causes so what are the causes of pneumonia that can be bacterial viral uh, fungal and mycoplasmas and protozoa bacterial infection gram positive and gram negative viral infection influenza virus para influenza virus adenovirus fungal infection candidiasis histoplasmosis mycoplasma and protozoa in aids classification if we classify pneumonia so there are three basic classifications community acquired pneumonia hospital acquired pneumonia and ventilator acquired pneumonia cap hap and wap are the abbreviations used for classification if we look at the community acquired pneumonia that is cap pneumonia that develops outside the hospital and what if the same pneumonia develops in the hospital which will be known as hospital acquired pneumonia hap pneumonia that develops 48 hours after admission Uh, so the third one that is wap is the ventilator associated pneumonia pneumonia that develops 48 to 72 hours after endotracheal intubation after you have intubated your patient after the 48 to 72 hours of intubation if the patient is showing symptoms of pneumonia that is purely ventilator associated pneumonia So what is community acquired pneumonia it occurs in normal healthy person bacterial infections or viral infections hospital acquired pneumonia nosocomial pneumonia or hospital acquired pneumonia hap is also known as nosocomial pneumonia it is defined as pneumonia that occurs 48 hours or more after hospital admission and is not present at the admission time when the patient enters the hospital he may be admitted with some other complaint and after 48 hours if he develops pneumonia that is called hospital acquired pneumonia the next is ventilator associated pneumonia wap that represents a significant subset of hap occurring in intensive care units most of the uh, ventilator acquired pneumonia patients can be seen in icus that are intubated and they develop pneumonia after intubation types of pneumonia segmental pneumonia bilateral pneumonia lobar pneumonia bronchial pneumonia in segmental pneumonia one in only in one small segmental lobe of lung bilateral pneumonia both side segmental lobes of lung are affected lobar pneumonia complete lobe affected bronchial pneumonia patchy like formation in lungs risk factors continuous smoking cold weather upper respiratory infection aids age more than 50 years air pollution malnutrition and dehydration altered conscious level chronic diseases aspiration of food fluid or vomitus inhalation of chemicals and gases so all these can be a risk factor for pneumonia clinical manifestations we also call them symptoms clinical manifestations or symptoms fever chills sweating pleuritic pain cough with sputum production and hemoptysis dyspnea cyanosis rapid pulse dull sound produced on percussion 
danger signs of pneumonia fast breathing difficulty in feeding not taking food or water orally child is turning blue persistent vomiting and not passing urine pathophysiology to understand the pathophysiology you must know that you have normal flora in your oral cavity in your nasal cavity and when that normal flora comes into a colonized state there is inhalation or aspiration and the normal defense mechanism comes to action and there is no infection there is another situation or scenario where you have impaired immune cell function or impaired mucociliary function if your functions are impaired you will easily carry pneumonia diagnostic evaluation physical examination history collection abd that is arterial blood gas analysis chest x ray bronchoscopy cracked sound and montox test complications pleural effusion atelectasis due to mucus plugs so now let's discover what is the medical management of pneumonia medical management prevention of pneumonia by vaccination as you already have heard that prevention is better than cure so pneumonia can be prevented by vaccination use of antibiotic therapy for treatment example penicillin cephalosporin ampicillin erythromycin amikacin that is drug of choice ceftriaxone bronchodilators are also used analgesics for chest pain example nemesilide and paracetamol vaccinations to prevent pneumonia pneumococcal vaccine hiv vaccine and influenza vaccine nursing management how assessment assess the patient that he had contact with other client like tb or pneumonia chest pain what will be the nursing diagnosis and what interventions you will be carrying out for specific nursing diagnosis nursing diagnosis ineffective breathing pattern related to decreased metabolic demands or insufficient exchange of gases and alveoli nursing intervention provide comfortable position to patient prescribe cough suppressant and analgesics monitor abg for hypoxemia hypercapnia and acid base balance nursing diagnosis ineffective airway clearance related to increased secretion production and inflammation give advice to take high fluid intake teach and encourage effective cough and deep breathing techniques administration of bronchodilators give sideline position to the patient with altered level of consciousness active intolerance due to decreased level of oxygen for metabolic demands at first we have to maintain baseline activities and response to activity of patient provide oxygen therapy anxiety related to knowledge deficit provide knowledge about disease and also give satisfactory answers to the questions of patients give psychological support to the patient maintain a peaceful environment and give comfortable position altered nutrition and hydration give prescribed diet advice to take high protein diet encourage intake of fluids health education teach patient to monitor temperature and sputum production recognize worsening signs and symptoms and the onset of complications get a flu influenza shot every year wash your hands often stay away from crowd ask visitors who have a cold to wear a mask drink water juice or weak tea drink at least 6 to 10 cups a day do not drink alcohol